Hello, welcome back. So good to see you. So today I went to Walmart and I want to share with you some of the things that I got. Now I know that I have said that I wasn't going to buy any more Valentine's Day stuff, but I did. But it's nothing like, you know, it's really nothing. But I'm still going to show it to you. So look at these. I love these little list pad things, but they're like magnetic on the back. I I use them all year long, and I'm like, this one's Valentine's Day themed, but I can still use it afterwards because it's like, it doesn't say Happy Valentine's, you know what I mean? Um, but I constantly have to make lists, so I saw these, and they were only 98 cents. What? I thought that was such a great deal and just awesomeness. So I had to pick that up. And then I also picked up more napkins because I like themed napkins and I like to put them in my kids' lunches. So I got this. This is Happy Valentine's Day. And it's like a little group of heart friends. Now on the back, there's a different image, but it's covered up by the, the price tag. Um, but anyway, these were 98 cents as well for 20 napkins. So I thought that was a good deal. And then, I feel like that's gonna fall. And then I also got this one. This says Happy Valentine's Day. And it's got just but the whole back of the napkin is covered in hearts. Here it's just kind of lined with the words. But that's cute, right? So like I put these, I have another one that I got from Dollar Tree as well, but I like alternate them in their lunch boxes so it's not like the same napkin every day. Okay, and then I picked up some Valentines for the kids' classes. Now, I haven't gotten like the, the list of how many students there are yet, but I was just like, ah, I'll go ahead and pick them up and if I need to get something extra, I will. So, I got these. These are 28 mini bars and cards and they're just airheads. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got, I got this last year, but my daughter really, really likes airheads. So, you know, just make sure she gets something that she wants. And they've got, it doesn't say the flavors in here, but it shows two flavors. It shows mystery and then strawberry. Oh, and there's cherry. So I was thinking that maybe we could do a video where we put together the Valentine's, right? Oh, there's a kitty outside. Cute. And then for my son, he loves lollipops. Loves them. So I got this, and these are just dum dums, and it says it comes with 50 pops um, to create Valentine lollipop bouquets. Isn't that cute? Now, I know that in this box, the cards are on the inside, but this box, the cards are on the outside. It's the actual box. So I guess I'm going to have to like cut it apart or something. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so I think it just comes with the classic flavor varieties. Oh, and this is free of major allergens. Peanuts, tree nut, milk, eggs, fish, shellfish wheat and gluten. So I guess these are super safe. Okay. Now I have to get these. My kids have been eating bagels literally like every day. Um, and they like to put cream cheese on there. Sometimes they put pineapple cream cheese, strawberry, blueberry. It's just different, whatever they're feeling like that day. But I usually get plain bagels but they were completely out, just 
nothing. I usually get myself like blueberry bagels to eat because to me they kind of taste like blueberry muffins. Not as sweet, but um, but anyway, they didn't have any. These were the only ones, but they're cinnamon swirl. And I'm like, these have got to be good because I can smell them through the back. It smells like, I don't know, just cinnamon deliciousness. Like, I'm going to have to steal one of these. Um, but it looks like there's just cinnamon, like, pieces. Or, I don't know, because it seems like there's like a little chunk of cinnamon. I don't know, but it smells amazing. I want it. Also, side note. Don't ever go to the grocery store hungry because you'll just want to buy everything. Okay. And the next thing I got is this, um, it's just some fresh, this is wheat French bread baked fresh in the store. And, um, I was actually looking for like sub bread, the smaller ones. But all of the breads were expired. Um, and so I'm like, how can they just leave their bread out when it's, it says that it's expired? Like, what? I don't know. But I got this because m my husband is going to be having um, vegan chicken parm sandwiches. So I was like, well, we'll just cut this into smaller pieces, you know, so, but this one, I actually like the wheat one better because it's softer and it just tastes better. It's like almost sweeter or something. I don't know. And then also for my husband, he is a huge fan of dark chocolate. So I picked this up Now I, I wasn't looking like at the package. All I saw was dark chocolate and like these little pieces. Um, but this is actually, I got it in the sugar-free section, so I'm wondering if it's going to be good. I don't know. Um, oh, but I guess these are vegan as well. Um, it's dairy-free, soy-free, and no sugar alcohols. Okay. Sugar has alcohol in it? What? I'm confused. Anyway. Um, but this is Chalk Zero, keto-friendly, keto bark, dark chocolate with sea salt and almonds. It kind of looks good though, right? I don't know. I don't really like dark chocolate. I mean, I'll eat it, but I'm not going to like it. I'm not going to eat these. I might try it just to see what it tastes like, but nah, that's, that's for him. Okay, I also got some flips white fudge covered pretzels delicious i haven't had pretzels that were covered like that like these little i call these like heart pretzels you know what i mean because they look like little hearts but i haven't had these in years like years and i just saw them um because i was on the candy aisle looking for like movie snacks for me and my daughter and everything is gone like almost every aisle in Walmart is just empty what what is going on Ugh. but um so there was like no snacks or anything but then I saw this at the top of the aisle these were not there were no shortages of these and so I was like hmm so I started thinking about it and I was like you know what I do want that it's gonna be delicious. Okay. The next thing is something called what is that? Bakerly? Bakerly French pancakes to go. Now I got these probably about two or three weeks ago for my son because he was like, I want pancakes. And um you know, I was going to get some that were like in the frozen because I don't really like making pancakes. It's, uh, I hate making pancakes because like it takes forever. Even, even if you have like a big griddle skillet, it's like for the amount of pancakes that I have to make, 
by the time I'm done with the last pancake, all the other pancakes are cold and it's like, I don't know. So I didn't want to make a bunch of pancakes, so I was just going to buy the frozen ones. But then I saw these, they were actually by the bagels and like tortillas, that kind of thing. And I was like, what? Because see, these are like mess free because it says there's a hint of sweetness. I guess they put like some maple syrup or something in the batter to make it, to make it sweeter. I don't know. Um, but it says authentic crunch recipe. Uh, ready to eat, ready to go. And there's eight pancakes and there's four pouches with two pancakes in each. And they're probably about like that big, like mm, about three and a half to four inches wide. So they're, they're quite big. Um, but anyway, so I got these about two or three weeks ago for my son and he loves them loves them my daughter she doesn't like them that much but i took a bite and i was just like mm, i don't like them it's like i feel like i can taste chemicals in them um but i mean there's really not any chemicals in there it just says wheat reduced fat milk eggs canola oil sugar dried glucose syrup so i guess that's just syrup um of tartar and salt I don't see any there's nothing else there's nothing else in there so I don't know what that chemical taste is um, but yeah I, I don't like it my son loves them he was like mom get more pancakes get more pancakes so I got him some more pancakes okay there's lots of crankies today. So my kids love, love, love cookies for snack time. And uh, I don't know, I kind of wanted something different. And I saw these. They are Keebler Fudge Stripes Original. And I don't... I don't know what the little cookie is. It might be like shortbread or something like that, but it's real, like if you just barely touch it, it'll crumble. So maybe not short. I don't know what it is. Um, it doesn't say, it just says melt in your mouth cookies that are irresistible, but I really like them. Um, and the bottom, the bottom of them are coated with this fudge chocolate stuff and then they have the stripes on top i got these first um but i mean obviously i got them for them but i'm totally gonna steal some i haven't had these in years either and i'm like really excited because yum i think somebody's doing their lawn i hope you can't hear that um now, like I said, my son loves, loves, loves lollipops, like, a lot. Um, but they don't, they didn't have any on the candy aisle. Like, I'm telling you, that candy aisle and the snack aisle was just nothing. But I did find this. This was, like, at the bottom. Uh, and they're called Safety Pops. It comes in grape, apple, orange, and cherry. And it's like a lollipop, and there's, like, this loop. Like, instead of a stick, it's, it's got this loop, I guess, so you won't, like, stab your mouth or throat or whatever. Kids are crazy, you know? Um, but these, these remind me of the lollipops that they have at the doctor's office, you know? Um, so, and these are free of major allergies as well. So, yeah. I picked those up for him because he loves. These are palm, pomegranate, crushed arrows? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so somebody is doing their yard. I was not too loud. Anyway, so, um, yeah, 
I saw a video on YouTube of this, there's this like vegan channel or something and this girl, she, I think she was doing like raw vegan for like a week or whatever. Anyway, but she said that she ate these like instead of popcorn, she would get a little container of these and eat these while watching a movie. And I have literally, I've had pomegranate juice, but I've never had these because they just look like they'd be crunchy or something. Um, but anyway, so I got these to try. Um, and I actually kind of want to try it right now. So, let me see if I can open this. It comes with a seal. like a zipper sound. Okay. Oh, they're kind of like wet. Hmm. But yeah. Whoa. Oh my God. This is my new favorite snack. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, there is a seed in there, but it's not like bad. It's almost like an orange. You know how like an orange, if you peel it and then take the skin off, it has these little like pods of liquid. That's what it's like. It doesn't taste like orange though. It just tastes good. Like, this seems like it would be a hydrating snack. Oh my god. This is amazing. Uh oh, I'm in trouble now. I'm gonna eat this whole thing. That's gonna be addicting. Good. Try that. <laughs> okay. The next thing that I got is a bunch of tea. My husband, oh look, it's like my fingers are all red now. My husband uh, and I drink tea like a lot every single day. And um, we have like run through our stock. And uh, he's like, all I have left is Christmas tea and I don't want that. Um, so I got a bunch of tea. So these are Twinnings variety. It comes with English breakfast, Earl Grey, Irish breakfast, and Lady Grey. Now the Lady Grey one tastes exactly, exactly like fruity pebbles. It's so weird. I can't drink it because it makes me mad because I'd rather just eat the cereal. Like, I don't know. But I don't really drink any of the rest of these because these are too caffeinated for me. Um, and then I also got this for my husband. It's Energy, Energy Tea by Celestial Seasons. And it has as much caffeine as a cup of coffee. He, he likes the energy, energy tea. But he'd rather have that than drinking a cup of coffee. And then for me... I got this. Now, I have hauled this before. It is Fireside Vanilla Spice, and it's just like, it's, it's like you want to be, like, cozy, like, when it's cold outside, you want to get a blanket and, like, bundle up and just be nice and warm and toasty and then drink this tea. I'm telling you, it is amazing. Like, look at that. There's a little cat on there, and it's sitting in front of the fire being all cozy and sleepy. Yes, this tea is fantastic. Okay, and then on my way out of the store, I saw that they had all their Valentine's Day like cookies out from the bakery. And these are just, I guess like those classic kind of like harder, not the soft cake, but the crunchy sugar cookies. And they're shaped like little hearts. So, I got those for the kids, but I'm full on gonna eat those. 
I love sugar cookies. Okay. The next thing that I have is Barilla Oven Ready Lasagna. Now, they didn't have, like, hardly any pasta. I don't know what the deal was with the pasta and the snacks and just everything. But, um, they did have this oven ready lasagna, which I absolutely love because it makes cooking lasagna super fast, super easy. Um, yeah, so it says rolled flat like homemade, no boiling, makes a 9 by 13 dish. Um, and it's just oven ready and you can just stack up your lasagna, make sure, now you want to make sure that they're entirely coated with sauce otherwise they'll be kind of like I don't want to say crunchy they won't be crunchy but they'll be there'll be some bite to them so I make sure to entirely coat them with sauce you know but we're having lasagna this week so I needed some of those but they didn't even have regular lasagna noodles anyway that's the only option that they had in the store so anyway so with the lasagna, I needed some sauce, and I like this sauce again. They changed the recipe. They didn't change it back to the original, but it's close enough. So, yeah, I picked up some pasta sauce. And then I actually like to put some this grated, I call this shake cheese. But it's grated parmesan cheese but it's like i don't know i i wouldn't call it grated either because it's like this powder stuff um i i make the lasagna in two sections because my husband's has like the the beyond beef um stuff he really loves the beyond beef and the beyond chicken whatever they have it at Walmart, and he is just shocked every time he eats it because he's like, this tastes, how is this not real? How is this not real? Because he says it's, it, it's amazing. Um, so, but I have to make the lasagna separately because uh, I don't like that stuff. I don't like, I don't like the way meat tastes or feels. Ugh, gross. Um, but anyway. I like to put this in there as well. Like we put the mozzarella and the other cheese and stuff, but then I like to shake this on mine. So yeah, I got some of that. And then for the kids, oh my gosh, my daughter is like a pickle head, okay? Just insane. And she has gotten her brother into pickles. And so now it's like they just want pickles all of the time. Like for dessert, my daughter was like, I want pickles. I don't know what the deal is. So I watched this, um, it's not a show, it's on YouTube. It's another ASMR channel. And this woman, she, uh, it's Southern, Southern ASMR Sounds. She found this recipe for cupcakes, but they were called pickle cupcakes, and she was like, I know it sounds crazy, but everybody who's had them said that they're great, so she was like, I'm going to make them on the channel, so she makes these pickle cupcakes, okay, and you like chop up pickles and put them in the cupcake mix with pickle juice and all this stuff, and then you garnish it with pickles on top, like crazy, right? So she tried it and ate it, and she was like, wow, it's actually really good. Like, she thought it was going to be terrible, and she was like, it was so good. And I was like, oh my gosh, am I going to make those? But my husband was like, no. And so I asked my daughter, I was like, you like pickles, right? And she's like, uh, yeah, they're my favorite food. And I'm like, I know. And you like cupcakes. And she was like, yes, they're amazing. And I was like, what if I told you that I could make cupcakes that are also with pickles inside and she was like no I would never do that <laughs> so I guess I'm never gonna have pickle cupcakes although I might make them anyway just because she made them and she said they tasted good so maybe just me I don't know I'm just like why won't people try them anyway okay 
So I had to get those for the kids because they're obsessed with pickles. And then I got myself this. I never buy myself anything, really. Um, but my husband has some like Captain Crunch cereal or something and I want some cereal and I haven't had cereal in a long time. Um, but this is my all time favorite cereal ever, ever, ever. I used to eat this when I was a kid. And this is the original ver version of it because when I was a kid, all of them were the actual shapes, these tricks. And um, then like when I grew up, they stopped making the shapes and they just turned them into like balls and they weren't the same and they weren't good. And I just, I was like very nostalgic for this cereal. And then a few years ago, I was just like, why won't the universe make this cereal, this cereal for me? Like, I just love it so much. And then literally like a month later, it was like retro throwback cereal time or whatever. I don't know, it was, such a, it was a thing that like all cereals were doing and they were like, they were bringing back the shapes and I was like, yes, it was the greatest day of my life. Um, but anyway, and so I think that so many people liked them, but they were like, you have to keep these shapes because the other cereal was just trash. Um, because ever since then, they've had shapes. So anyway, I wanted some cereals, so I picked up my favorite, favorite cereal. I know it's a kid's cereal, but I don't care. Sometimes you just gotta have something delicious, right? Okay. Now, I also got... There's too many in there to make noise. <laughs> I also got these... Are those cherry tomatoes? It just says heavenly salad tomatoes, but I think they're like cherry tomatoes. Um, but I got these for my daughter. She will eat this entire thing for lunch. I mean, she'll have other things as well, but it's pickles and tomatoes are her favorite, favorite thing. Did anyone, I mean, I guess it's healthy. I don't know. So... Whatever you want, girl. Um, but yeah, I picked them up for my daughter. And then I also picked up, this is a 12 pack of Keebler Chips Deluxe Minis. And they are rainbow. They're these little bitty mini chocolate chip cookies. But they, they have chocolate chips, but they also have the colorful m &Ms in them um, because my kids are back in school and I have other snacks for them like I've got these little crackers um, it's like cheese crackers or something like that um, but my son doesn't like cheese crackers so I bought him the crackers that have the peanut butter jelly like flavor in them those are his absolute favorite snack so he goes back to school and then all of a sudden there's a new student in the class and he comes home and his snack hasn't been eaten. I'm like, well, why didn't you eat your snack? And he's like, because my teacher wouldn't let me. And I was like, what? Why? And he was like, I don't know. She just wouldn't let me have it. And he was like all crying and stuff. And so I emailed the teacher. I was like, why can my son not have his snack? And she said that there are the new student that has arrived has a peanut allergy and I'm like okay because when they have snack time it's like they're it's like when they do reading or whatever so they go off into their own little corners of the room and they read their book and then they eat whatever snack that they have brought and I'm like okay so what if this kid has a peanut allergy why can my son not have his snack and she says that, you know, it's, she's like waiting for the school nurse to clear them for their snacks or something. And I'm like, I don't understand. Like, I understand if your kid has an allergy, don't let your kid have peanut butter, right? But like, it's 
not like the kids are anywhere near each other, and it's not like they share snacks. They don't. That's not allowed. They're not allowed to be within a certain range of each other, and they can't share food. They can't share anything, you know, because COVID and stuff. So I'm like, why can't my son have his snack? So the next, so I told her, I was like, well, this is my favorite snack. This is what I bought him, so that's what I'm going to send. So then the next day, I sent him to get this with his snack. No, she won't let him have it. <laughs> I'm like, what? It doesn't make any sense. Because that would be like telling every kid who goes to lunch with this one kid, be sure not to bring a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, because if you do, you're not going to get lunch today. Because some kid in the school is allergic to peanuts. I don't know. I feel like it's just ridiculous. I sympathize for the child who has a peanut allergy, but I don't understand why other kids can't have their, their snacks or their food. You know what I mean? Like, that kid knows not to eat it. I don't know. Am I being too mean? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, I know. It's just, it's aggravating because it's like my son doesn't get his favorite snack because some other kid that's far away from him is allergic. Like what? I don't know. Maybe I'm being over dramatic about it, but so I had to get him new snacks. <laughs> that's what this is. Sorry for the whole rant. Um, so I just got him some cookies. I don't know if there's peanuts in here or what. I didn't even check. But they're not peanut butter cookies, so hopefully his teacher will let him have them. They're not, you know, I don't know. I'm just going to leave that alone. Sorry if that was offensive to anyone. Okay, so my daughter wanted movie snacks and stuff, and like I said, they didn't have anything. But they had some stuff, so I got basically what they had. Um, this is chocolate chip cookie dough bites. Now she likes cookie dough, but she's always like, is there poison in them? Because, you know, you're not allowed to eat cookie dough with eggs because, I don't know, salmonella or something like that. And you can get sick and whatever. But this is an egg-free recipe. So, and they are coated in chocolate. So it's like cookie, chocolate chip cookie dough that is also coated in chocolate so hopefully she'll like this um, when she watches whatever whatever we're gonna watch I don't know and then for my son shock he's obsessed with these these little Debbie cosmic brownies with chocolate chip candy they're so gross like they're not But he loves them, so I just picked those up for him. They just, they don't taste good at all. I don't, I don't know, maybe it's a kid thing. I know when I was a kid I ate them. Mm. Okay. Now I got some Reynolds Wrap. This is non-stick. It's everyday strength non-stick. Food won't stick. This foil. All other foil can just not exist. Um, I don't even know how long that this has been in existence, but it is the greatest thing ever. Because, like, whenever I cook anything in the oven, it doesn't matter what I'm cooking, even if I'm cooking, like, in a, in like a, a lasagna pan, you know, I'll put the pan on, like, a cookie tray, and I'll line the cookie tray with toilet paper, because what if something boils over or bubbles over or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, because I don't like my stove to get, or oven to get dirty, um, but like if I make cookies or, you know, pizza, anything like that, I'll put this on the pan because it's so easy to clean up, but it's great because food will not stick to it. It it's amazing. Now, I know you can get regular foil and then spray it with a non-cook spray, but it's like, I don't like that stuff. It tastes like chemicals to me. Ugh. Um, and it doesn't work as well. This is fantastic. Totally worth the price. It's like, I don't, I don't know how much it is, but I know that it's probably like 
for your photo or if it's more than a regular photo, I don't care. It is awesome. Okay, and the last thing that I got was this. Um, this is Original Stewart's Fountain Classics Root Beer. And it's made with cane sugar, so it's probably going to taste extra delicious. Um, doesn't this look like a bottle from like the 50s or something? Or 1924? Um, so yeah, it's just a 12 ounce thing of root beer. But I got this because, oh, I can drink it. It's caffeine free. Awesome. Um, I got this because my husband, he, he has several YouTube channels, but he likes to randomly throw out like, these videos where he does role plays. He could do really good at ASMR, but he just won't do it. Um, but he has a bunch of wigs and characters that he's created. And he is going to be doing this mock interview with a mu musician, like a rock musician, uh, for his review channel, because he does like music reviews and food reviews, that kind of thing. And, um, so he has this character that has a mullet and his name is Mud Flap. <laughs> and he's just like this country hillbilly or whatever. And so Mud Flap is going to be doing the interview of this amazing rock star, which is also my husband. Oh, what is the rock star's name? I don't know. Anyway, um, but he needed Mud Flap to be drinking beer, but he didn't want actual beer because beer is like gross. So I was like, well, we can just get root beer and you can like hold it like this, you know, and it'll look like beer in your mouth. I don't know. So it's just for, it's just for fun. So I don't think anybody's going to be looking too hardly at the bottle, you know. Um, but it was the closest looking thing to a beer bottle, I guess. I don't know. I can't wait for the video to come out if it comes out. If it turns out like trash, he's not gonna, he's not gonna upload it. But anyway, so yeah, I got this and I actually want to try one as well because like classic root beer. Ooh, maybe we could do like a root beer photo with the ice cream. I really want that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back to the store. Anyway, so that is all the stuff that I got, and I am super excited about this thing. Like, I forgot about it until I just looked down. These are amazing. Amazing. I highly recommend trying these if you have not. So, so good. Anyway, so yeah, that is all the stuff that I got at Walmart. I really hope that you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon.